Imagine being able to take a tactical radio, plug it into your MPU-5, and have all of your radio over IP settings configured automatically. Not only does your MPU-5 configure itself, but it also configures your tactical radio, setting it up for radio over IP. Now, let's stop imagining and dive right into advanced radio over IP. Let's start with just the connection between the two systems. We have our MPU-5 Man A and our tactical radio, the 148 Echo Spear radio from Talus. Traditionally, a radio over IP connection would take the speaker and audio lines from the tactical radio and connect it to the MPU-5, digitizing the audio. But we worked with engineers from Talus to create a USB connection between the MPU-5 and the Spear radio. This data connection is exciting because now the MPU-5 can command the Talus radio. It can set configurations within the radio and it can monitor the tactical radio for changes. This is key to automating radio over IP and making it very simple to use. In front of me, I have two Spear radios. They are configured identically. They have presets such as FiresNet, Tactical Satellite, Medevac, and even Foreign Forces. These are the same presets that your RTO would set up and then hand to you. They both have audio coming out of the radio's face plates. They're configured to some specific volume level. Now, I'm going to connect one of the Spear radios to my MPU-5, and let's see what happens. First, you notice that the MPU-5 configures the Spear to send the audio out of its top connector, disabling the faceplate audio, setting it up for radio over IP. Next, you'll see that the MPU-5 automatically sets the Spear's audio level, creating crystal clear audio for radio over IP. Even if I manually change the audio on the Spear, it will simply go back to its best output settings. Finally, the MPU-5 checked the Spear radio to see what preset it was set on. In this case, it was set to FiresNet. If we go into the web management interface, we can see that the MPU-5 can see that the Spear is connected. We can see that it's on FiresNet and we can show that it's connected to the MPU-5's FiresNet talk group. If we turn the knob on the Spear radio to Medevac, a preset already in the Spear radio, we can also see in the WMI where the MPU-5 changes and associates with the MPU-5's Medevac talk group. And just in case you were wondering how you could tell that the Spear was set to the appropriate preset, you will get an audible announcement in your headset saying, Tactical Radio, Medivac. It really is that easy. All you have to do is pick up the Spear, plug it into the MPU-5, and set whatever preset you want on the Tactical Radio. You don't even have to go into the web management interface. We also created an Android application. We call it the Roip Preset app that resides on the MPU-5. Once you launch the app, you can see that the Spear radio is set to Medevac. But by simply tapping Fire's net, if we look at the Spear's faceplate, you can see that the tactical radio has reconfigured itself to Fire's net. Another amazing feature of the MPU-5 Man-A network is that right through the Roip preset app, I can log into another advanced Roip node and change its settings. We build systems that are used in combat. They need to operate seamlessly, be easy to configure, and effectively achieve the outcome that the soldier expects. In this case, we have fully automated radio over IP and reduced the cognitive burden for the soldier. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below.